Hey everybody, wanted to do a quick video on the latest modification I made to my trailer and it has to do with counter space. If, when you look at the galley here, it folds out, you've got a double stove and a sink there that you can use that counter space, anything that's not being used. You've got the uh, shelves slash steps you can use as well as the fender area uh, that I'll use for, you know, put on a cutting board and food preparation or put plates and things like that as well as the fridge freezer uh, when the lid's down. Uh, you can use that as a workspace as well. But what happens is you tend to kind of shuffle things around and move things off the fridge freezer to get something out of it and then move it back and, you know, just kind of a domino effect. So I wanted something a little bit more permanent and effective. So what I got is a, an under rack camp table that stores in there. It's made by the, a company called Front Runner. They also make... Uh, you know, a lot of storage solutions. You can see I've got some soft packs in there that I use in the back of my trailer as well. But this table is actually made for their own proprietary rack, so it's very slim. Um, and, and this rack is not compatible necessarily with the mounting kit that came with the table. The uh, table itself, I can't remember the dimensions. I'll put it up on the screen, but it's fairly good size. They make a couple different ones. This is called the um, Pro Stainless Camp Table or something of that nature. <laughs> I'll put the official name up there. But my trailer rack came with two sets of holes drilled in the racks themselves. And you can see this one, uh, I had to drill additional holes in my rack I was able to utilize one side, but because of the width, it didn't fit uh, the other pre-existing holes there. So it was a very simple setup, actually. There's just two mounting brackets, one on each side. They have pre-cut slots in them, again, that fit the, the front runner rack, which this is not. But the way it worked is I just clamped them down with wood, with wood clamps in a, in a position where the table is essentially flush with the back of the rack so that way the latch works. So I clamped them down, drilled a couple holes on this side in the mounting bracket itself and then on this side I had to drill holes in the rack and the mounting bracket. Uh, I did have to buy longer screws because it's meant for a very slim rack um, but I bought the exact same thing, but longer basically. So I was able to utilize the same nylock nuts and these little uh, bolt head caps and things like that. And uh, I had to buy a few additional washers as well, just because I have six and then seven mounting uh, points on this table. It's around 30 pounds, if I remember right. So definitely overkill. And I think the original one only used the four instead of the six. So a little more than necessary. Um, the latch itself here has a hole in it so I can put a lock on there, a padlock or something like that if I want. It's very, very snug. Uh, again, I made sure that it fit tight as well as having on the inside of the latch here, I put a little kind of like a little foam bumper as well as on the two back ends to keep everything very tight and rattle free. And it, it does not move, but it slides out pretty easily. Now this is a protective coating on the stainless steel table. I just haven't bothered to take it off yet, but it comes out very easily, slides in back in, and then you just push down and it latches. So a very slick setup. Uh, it took me, I don't know, maybe an hour. Uh, I had to run to the hardware store and get the 60 millimeter length uh, bolts and a couple extra washers. And I did buy one uh, better drill bit in order, which is the same size as the holes here, um, in order to uh, get through the powder coated steel mounting brackets. Um, but it's very, should be very um, resistant to any weather. It's kind of a plastic or nylon uh, frame around the stainless steel. Uh, use stainless steel um, hardware, and then it's again powder powder coated mounting kit or bracket. So should be very. Um, uh, very weather resistant and um, I'm very pleased with it. It wasn't inexpensive um, by any means. I certainly could have used a cheaper or bought a cheaper table and maybe found one that fit or you know just throw it in the back of the truck or in the trailer itself. 
Um, but I just wanted something a little bit better. I could have the option to use it, but it wouldn't be in the way if I don't use it. And it just stores, you know, very conveniently in unused space anyways, and wouldn't interfere with if I wanted to put anything on top. So can't wait to uh, give it a try later this year on various hunting and fishing trips. And uh, hopefully it works as, uh, as advertised. Thanks for watching.